Hello and welcome to part two of the Cadena how-to video series. Uh, before I get started, if you haven't already seen part one, I recommend going back and watching that video. And the link to that video will be down in the description below. Uh, I also set up a no board to record all my inputs for this video. And this video is going to be going over bossing mechanics for Cadena and I'm going to be using Chaos Vellum as an example. But before we get into that, I'm just going to let you guys know that I'm going to be using all of my try notes for this. And this is going to be my range, boss damage, damage, and crit damage. So if you don't have uh, these notes, I recommend at least like double this range for an easy clear. Uh, with maxed nodes you can probably get away with 200k range with a similar setup. But So, as nice as doing combos and staying in place is, it's not very realistic in a bossing sense. Because Kadena is basically a glass cannon, so she dies very easily. And unlike a, a Night Lord per se, uh, you need to be like on top of bosses in order to DPS efficiently. So it's very easy to die on this class. Um, another recommendation I have is to have your graphics set down as low as you can get them because if it's like here I'll show you if you have all of your animations going and stuff like it can get cluttered very easily so it makes it very hard to see what the boss is doing so I recommend that being set down very low and if you're having troubles with um, the timing on linking the skills I recommend turning this up and whenever you hear your Kadena make a noise. That's basically the cue to link into a weapon art skill after using Thrash. Like, I'll show you this really quick. Just one second. So like... Let me turn this back up. So like with Thrash they make a little noise, so you can just link into a skill after that, or as soon as you hear that. So if you're having trouble there, you can try that. Let's turn this back down. And let's go into the one. I also recommend for hotkeys that you have your weapon art skills close to the center of the screen so that you can see them when they come off cooldown easier. And there's also enough mobs in this beginning section to actually get up to max combo stacks. You just have to make sure that your weapon or your uh, muscle memory doesn't kill them. But that'll help out with uh, damage on beatdown at the beginning of Vellum. Okay, so normally what I do with Vellum is I will pop all my decents after entering, as well as Mihao Link, and then I will use the fourth job hyper skill and Void Strike, and God is Blessing, and then use AB Link, and then summon him. I'll drop. Uh, Maelstrom, an Apocalypse Cannon, and go into Stage 2 Last Resort, and then finally bind him after he comes out of the ground. After the bind is over, I will use Veteran Shadow Dealer, and then drop another Maelstrom, and then go into comboing. Um, for bossing mechanics specifically, it doesn't really matter too much whether you combo in place or not. Some bosses it'll be easier to do and probably more optimal to do. Like uh, P3 Lucid, for example, you don't really want to move around a whole lot, but 
but for most other bosses, it's not that big of a deal. Um, as for Vellum specifically, you want to watch out for the yellow rings and the red rings and the green rings. The yellow rings will let you know when a tail or Vellum himself is going to come out of the ground. The red rings will let you know that rocks are about to fall, and if you get hit by the rocks, you will be stunned for, I think, about five seconds. The green rings will let you know that poison's about to fall, and the poison itself actually does a lot of damage. So if you're in stage two last resort and you get hit by the poison, that's a one shot. Um, any of the tails that come out of the ground, or Vellum himself if he's using the fireball attack, both of those are one shots. So be wary of that in your spacing. For the rocks specifically, you want to try to stay between them. If you're in a weird position where you can't do that, you can use Pursuit to go into Dark Sight, and Dark Sight will ignore the stun portion of that. Alternatively, if you want, you can use Cygnus Links. I think at level 10, the Cygnus Link gives you 25 status resistance, which Kadena has pretty low status resistance to begin with, so it'll shorten the stun duration by a significant amount. I usually hold on to Scimitar and Bomb mainly for movement, because if I need to move backwards I can just use Bomb, or if I need to move forwards I can just use Scimitar. Uh, it's more important if you get caught off guard in the middle of a combo, so it gives you basically instant movement. Like another very important thing for Kadena's kit is pursuit. Like you can pretty much stop on a dime just using flash jump or any movement skill basically, which allows for very accurate micro positioning. And you can see me do that a lot. Pursuit also comes in very handy for when Vellum is using his AoE because he will drop rocks like ninety nine percent of the time when he's about to use his AoE. So what you'll do is you'll flash jump, hop into Dark Sight through Pursuit, and then just continue flash jumping, and you can just ignore the rocks that way. Um, when you do get to about 50% HP, Vellum will start using that AoE, and the Venom and Bleed dots will actually let you know where Vellum is at basically all times, so you can track him that way. Another thing that you need to watch out for is when Vellum comes out of the ground to do his fireball attack. It's usually once every four times he pops out of the ground, he'll use his fireball attack. You don't want to be standing anywhere near him or on top of him, because that's an instant one-shot. Regardless of if you are in stage 2 last resort or not. So just keep your distance and be wary of where he's at. If you need to use your decent skills again, just kind of move off to the side. Kind of keep track as best you can of where Vellum is. And just be wary after you use your decents to what attacks he's doing. I usually kind of spend a little bit of time making sure that he's not doing a fireball attack so I don't just randomly flash jump into it. But yeah, don't be afraid to use the movement from your skills to dodge stuff. It's very important to dodge on Kadena because like I said, it's a, it's a glass cannon and you kind of need to be pretty close to the boss in order to get your muscle memory hits off as well as the initial thrash hits. But hopefully this video was insightful and went over most of the bossing mechanics for Kadena. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And enjoy the rest of the video. See you in the next one.